Hola and welcome back to character modeling. Uh, something a little different this time. I recently landed my first job in film, which I'm pretty stoked about. Uh, I've been working in games for a long time. Uh, so it is a humble task. Um, it was to make an alien artifact for my friend Ralph's upcoming short film, Back to Graffiti. Um, here's part of the trailer so you can get an idea of what it's about. And if you watch carefully, you might spot the alien artifact in action. Where were you in 1973? Maybe you were in your local theater watching a film called American Graffiti? On the very day it released, August the 13th. Evening. At the top of the news tonight, a rail was More likely, you weren't even born yet. Maybe your dad still owns a car that could have been in that movie. And did you know that American Graffiti released 50 years ago to this day? That's right, folks. It's been that long. Makes you feel old. No. Well, it's that time again, folks. It's the 50th anniversary of the cruise in the Boulevard Car Show. Right here in downtown Petaluma. Enjoy some good old classic cars and rock and roll. It's, a, it's pretty mysterious, I'm kind of digging it, uh, but um, I'll post a link to the complete trailer and more info on the film in the description below. Uh, so, I got the job to build this prop because Rolf is trying to shoot his film with traditional practical effects and he knew I had an interest in building models. So, uh, we started with the concept. Now, Rolf is a concept artist himself and he drew the design for the gizmo. As he's calling um he wanted to have some character so it is intentional that the lights feel like eyes speaking of lights uh ralph knew he wanted to add lights to indicate the thing is active so i designed the model with openings for the lights and wirings the uh, bottom comes off and uh, you can stuff wires up there and the lights obviously show through the holes i blocked the basic forms in with Meyer. I find Meyer or Blender is good when you need accuracy at the time. And at the time, I was assuming we'd be using some larger LED bulbs. So I made a point of making the eyes openings large enough to accommodate these bulbs. I also found at this stage that the four eyes were often drawn in this orthographic view didn't give the same visual look as the concept painting. So I added an extra eye but because I think it was more important that it looks like the concept. Um, and, and that's actually my general role as a character artist. Uh, when I'm given a, a concept painting and maybe you often get some orthographic views with details, um, I always focus on the concept painting as the, as the what, what should dictate the look. You know, that's the final word. It's because that's usually what people sign off on. I used ZBrush for the more complex bullions and to add details. I also used ZBrush to prep the model for 3D printing. It was relatively easy as the model was already hollow, so all I needed to do was make sure it was, the, it was exported at the correct scale. And I exported both components together as an SDL file so they're all the correct scale and fit together. Ah, so here we are. Um, I've, ex I've brought those STLs from ZBrush into a program called ChituBox, and um, this is a free, free software. Uh, came with the printer. I am using an Elugu Saturn II, um, which is which is relatively speaking a nice cheap printer. You know, it, it's a resin printer. It does a good job. Um, so I specified that you know I'm using the Saturn II here in Chitu Box. Added the support structure uh, and sliced it up, ready for printing. This is the model uh, right after it's finished printing. 
Um, we probably took oh about seven hours, uh, which is fine. You know, to set it up and leave it alone and go away and do something fun. And here's the model uh, once the resin's been washed off and the re the support structure removed. I think it looks quite nice. I'm very happy with the uh, level of detail. When it came time to paint the model, I didn't have an airbrush, so I just used spray cans. Uh, first, I hit. I uh, first I primed the model with some Testers Gray primer. I painted a base coat of black. Then I dusted the model from the top with gold and silver, allowing the black to show through in the shadows. This kind of accentuated the details. The final step was to light the model. Ralph hunted around on the internet for some lighting kits and ended up buying this. It's a strip of blue LED lights with a lithium battery pack and a controller that allows you to select different modes, flashing or constant and other variations, which was perfect for what we needed. I cut a hole in the bottom plate of the gizmo and inserted the LED strip through it. Then I wound the strip up tightly inside and positioned the lights in the center of the eyes as best as I could. There were a few LEDs at the bottom of the strip that hung outside the gizmo, so I just covered those with black tape and voila! One alien gizmo. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little breakdown of how I made the gizmo for Back to Graffiti. If you want to learn more about the film and see the full trailer, I've posted a link to the Kickstarter page in the description below. Please do me a solid and like, subscribe, and until next time, ciao.